Antibiotics are medicines that are used to treat bacterial infections. Uh, that can be a sore throat, or it can be more serious infections like gonorrhea, TB, or pneumonia, or many other diseases. However, uh, antibiotics are also misused. For example, when they're used to treat uh, viral infections where they don't work, or in relation to um, farming where animals that are healthy are given antibiotics on a regular basis as part of the livestock feed. There are other types of misuse of antibiotics. For example, when the patient don't complete the treatment with the antibiotics as prescribed. And all of these examples together is an issue because they contribute to antimicrobial resistance. Antibiotic resistance is when the bacteria becomes stronger by adapting itself to sort of fight the antibiotic so the antibiotic no longer works. In order to reduce the threat from antibiotic resistance, we need to know what's going on in the countries, which antimicrobials are being used, where and in what quantities. A new study by the WTO Regional Office for Europe in collaboration with Antwerpen University and supported by the Dutch Ministry of Health, Welfare and Sports has collected and analysed data from six southern European and seven central Asian areas and countries. This helps us in understanding the prescription and consumption patterns in these countries, including countries where antibiotics are available over the counter. What the study reveals is first, the antibiotic use is generally too high. Antibiotics are overprescribed by doctors and the medicines is easily available to consumers over the counter at the pharmacy. And this overview covers a wide spectrum of antibiotics indicating again overprescription of the medicines as well as too little understanding of the threat of antimicrobial resistance and what that actually means in terms of prudent use of antimicrobials. The study also shows that the use of antibiotics fluctuates with the season, which again indicates a misuse of antibiotics because this indicates to us that antibiotics are used to treat flu, which is seasonal, which is not appropriate, as antibiotics are not effective against viral infections. Patients must remember that antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections. So they shouldn't be used for a runny nose or some flu-related uh, symptoms. And if you do take antibiotics, please remember to take the full course. So take the medicines as prescribed. If you take antibiotics when they're not really needed, their effectiveness decreases. And this has an impact on yourself or others in another situation when you want to use the antimicrobial. So next time you use the antimicrobial, it may not have the same effect. In 2011, all 53 member states of the WTO European region signed an action plan to fight antimicrobial resistance. Countries should introduce legislation to protect the antimicrobials for the future. And this means basically addressing issues across the use of antimicrobials, so from provision of antimicrobials, prescription, dispensing, and the use of antimicrobial medicines. The study calls for actions at national level, and we really need to address not only doctors and prescribers, but also pharmacists as well as the consumers because we're in this together and we really need to ensure that a much better understanding of prudent use of antimicrobials and why we should not overuse these products. Legislation must be supported by commitment to monitor the prescription and use of these medicines 
as well as monitoring antimicrobial resistance development. The WHO Regional Office for Europe will continue to gather data from those contributing to these studies. And we will certainly also wish to expand the work so that we can include countries that are not already involved in this study. With only two new classes of antimicrobial medicines being made commercially available in the last 30 years, we must make sure that we keep the antimicrobials we have today effective in the future.